Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. My name is Kiriel. I'm from Wales. I'm obsessed with makeup and today that's what we're gonna be doing. <laughs> if you are new, I hope you decide to subscribe. All you need to do is hit the red button down below just to join along. Get notified of my future content. I upload quite frequently on here. It's a fun time. <laughs> Today I just wanted to do a really chill video and put some makeup on my face that is of the high-end variety. Got some new things to try but then also just some other things that are already in my collection. Not sure what kind of makeup I'm gonna do today, maybe some soft glam. But yeah, let's let's quickly sort this face out. Alright, let's expose this big ass forehead so I can put on some makeup. <laughs> Still kind of waking up guys, you'll have to excuse me. <laughs> Lower you guys down a little bit. That's a bit better. I don't know, I can't. I can't work it out. <laughs> Why is it whenever I wear the shirt, I feel like a pirate? <laughs> Why is the rum always gone? Um, anyway. I think I'm gonna do my eyes first. I don't know. Let's just start, shall we? I've got three different palettes, but I don't know which one to use. Wish you guys could tell me which one to use. <laughs> this is going to be the devil to edit because I'm so indecisive. <laughs> you know what? I'll go in with my Tati Beauty because I haven't used it in a while and I really love this palette and it has everything that you ever need. Just gonna go in with my P. Louise base in Rumor 1. I'm just gonna pat this into the lid. Wait, what am I doing? Zoom you guys in. What is this, amateur hour over here? I don't I don't even know. As I said guys, I'm still kind of waking up. <laughs> don't have a high-end primer really, so I'm just using the P. Louise base as per usual, you know. I now think you're a bit too zoomed in. Oh, I'm such a mess this morning. Please send help. You're a bit close, it's not focusing for me. Okay, that's better. I have no idea where I want to start. I'm thinking maybe doing like a halo eye. I'm gonna go in with the matte soothe and mix in a little bit of the poet into it so we get a kind of warm toned brown kind of moment. I don't want to spend too long on my makeup today like my makeup usually takes me like three hours <laughs> especially when I'm filming. I say that I've been sitting here for almost 16 minutes and I've done this <laughs> so far. <laughs> a pretty tone. I think this can be a nice soft-ish glam. <laughs> we shall see how this goes. Knowing me, it will probably get a little bit too dramatic for soft glam. <laughs> I think it's just with being so pale, soft glam never looks like soft glam unless I'm using like barely any colour because I'm literally the shade of, of paper <laughs> and soft glam for me is literally like nothing. <laughs> but I like to have a little bit of colour, you know. I'm taking a mixture of the ritual matte, the poet matte and then just a dab of the aura matte. <laughs> And I'm gonna kind of deepen the inner and outer corners to intensify this kind of halo effect I got going on. Oh, I think I made a big mistake there. <laughs> we shall try and remedy that in a second. Blend, please. There we go. Problem averted. I'm just glad these shadows blend quite nicely. <laughs> Otherwise, that would have been a problem. I find when doing these looks, it's always handy to have a clean blending brush on hand. I have just this big fluffy one just to really diffuse. It works so much better with a clean one. Okay, I quite like the way this is looking right now. I'm really sorry if you can hear outside. It's so windy, but it's literally boiling in my room, so I need to have the window open. Otherwise, I'm gonna die, guys. Okay? Is that what you want? I get it. Wondering what color to put on the center. Usually with something like this, I would go for the Aura Metallic or the Poet Metallic, but I feel like doing something a little bit different. Maybe the Story Metallic. It has more of like a peachy gold kind of vibe. Let's try it. If I don't like it, well, tough. <laughs> it's a very pretty color. Let's let's try it in the center and see if I like it. Ooh, ooh, that is pretty. Oh man, that is so pretty. I have not mixed these before. <laughs> Spoil it just a little. Ooh. I hope that didn't get on you. <laughs> that would be a catastrophe. Oh yeah, that is so beautiful. No, I think an eye like this as well is so nice. If you were to just put the Aura shade to set the base, it would look so nice. But you guys know me, I need to have like a little bit of shimmer as well. <laughs> want this to be really soft, so I'm really softening those edges. Quick random side note. If you find that your little halo eye isn't popping and you find that when you look at your eyes straight on, you can't see the color, try applying the shimmer with your eyes open because I sometimes find that I'm doing this while applying it, so then it's slightly to the side, so then when I look forward, the actual shimmer isn't showing as much because I've applied it slightly off center and it's not catching the light. So make sure that you're facing forward and keep your eyes open and then you can really see where the shimmer picks up the light and it helps you apply it better and you get that more spotlight eye effect because I found myself doing those things and it wasn't working for me. So just an FYI, I hope it helps someone up there. <laughs> I really want this to be soft, so I'm making sure to bring it pretty much all the way up to the brow. 
I managed to get it on my Android. How did I even do that? Okay, I love the eye look right now. It is so pretty. Now let's get started on the base because my skin needs some loving. I'll zoom you guys out a little bit because we're a little bit close for comfort right now. I love you and all, but it's just, just too close, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go in with my Glam Glow Low Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. And I want my skin to glow today. I'm still using this little sample, even though I'm really tempted to buy it. Oh my God, it smells so good. <laughs> Just makes my skin feel so plump and also makes it look really nice. Glow is so pretty and also just the smell. The smell is worth it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this moisturizer is like 30 odd pounds or something. It's quite expensive, but maybe I'll treat myself. I don't know. I mean, I guess it'd be better if I could go buy it in person rather than ordering in. So I may have to wait until quarantine is over. But yeah, this moisturizer is very good. I'm gonna do a little bit of pore blurring with the Origins Pore Perfecting Cooling Primer with Willow Herb. It's got such a long name. Just an FYI, don't squirt this on your face, okay? It burns your eyes. I've done it, okay? <laughs> I mean, it is an aerosol, so that makes sense, but don't be mean. Don't be stupid. <laughs> I'm just gonna put this in my porous areas. This is such a good blurring primer. My skin has kind of been going through it. I don't know why I've been needing healthier when I'm in quarantine. And this is the way of my skin rebelling, I guess. I don't know. I've been drinking tons of water. Well, squash. I don't know if that counts. <laughs> I don't know, man. My skin's just been going through it. It's probably because I'm filming more, so I'm applying makeup more often. So that may be why, but all my tools are clean. I mean, you guys know, we just did a cleaning video. <laughs> I squirted way too much of this out for my face. <laughs> But yeah, let's just try and blur those imperfections away, shall we? <laughs> I have a new concealer to try. The Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer Pen. I got the shade Snow this time because I usually use the shade Lace and it's slightly too dark. I love the original liquid concealer, so I'm excited to try this one. I'll see you in 2021. Okay, I don't know how much concealer I think I need, but that should be fine. Let's try this out. It was kind of creamy, a little bit hard, but should be fine. I just want to try it on this side first of all, see how it blends out. So far the coverage looks kind of medium. Let's try blending this out. Okay, that blended out really easily. It doesn't feel heavy underneath the eye or anything. I think I could add just a little bit more product. It's quite light illuminating, so it's reflecting the light quite nicely, but it doesn't look like a dewy finish. My battery is flashing at me already. I've been filming for like 40 minutes. Like, it needs to calm down. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with a little bit more and go in on this side. Feels weird applying like a stick though. Like, the product doesn't feel harsh, but just the movement of it does. <laughs> but it does like melt on your skin, which is nice. Let's just do a little bit of highlighting, you know? Why not? It feels quite cool to just like draw on my face with this. <laughs> I am a child. Inside, okay, don't judge me. I've been loving this sponge, by the way. It's an e.l.f. sponge, it's their camo sponge. It is so soft and squidgy, and it feels so good. And I can use this dry as well, and it gives just as good as a result. This is damp, but using it dry as well, it works really well. Once I put my foundation on and everything like that, this won't look that crazy. <laughs> okay, so I'm a little cakey on my upper lip. The actual concealer underneath my eyes and things looks pretty good and still kind of see my blueness coming through but concealer is not gonna fix all my problems <laughs> my camera battery just died by the way so if we've moved at all that's why okay so i've tried this literally once it's the huda beauty tan tour it's in the shade fair i don't know in what earth this is fair apparently in huda beauty's earth <laughs> But I want to try it again. The product feels nice, very creamy and emollient. I want to do the whole like Scott Barnes thing, you know? I'm just using a little brush to apply it. Like this is, I don't know, it's slightly yellow toned, but it's also very dark, <laughs> but it does blend very easily. Okay, I get it's called Tantor, but this is more like a bronzer for me. No way could I use this as a contour. She says as she proceeds to try and chisel with it. I don't know, try and make this like five head small, shall we? <laughs> forehead goes all the way like back here like why why do I have such a weird shaped forehead rude that's what it is it does blend like super duper easily oh yes look at that line yay it almost feels like a balm it's a very balmy kind of texture you know this is a reminder lunch oh <laughs> I have to remind myself to have food because otherwise I'll just film and I will be starving at the end of the day wondering why and then I remember I haven't actually eaten Alright, I just had a lunch break. 
because my makeup's been sitting for about half an hour, I'm just gonna refresh it and I'm gonna use MAC Fix Plus. And then I'm gonna go in with foundation. Now, finally. One of you guys asked me to try this. It's the Born This Way Undetectable Medium to Full Coverage Foundation. Well, free. And this is in the shade Cloud. This is the lightest shade. I do also have the Multi Sculpting Concealer, which I really like. I tried this out once, but I'm not sure how I felt about it. So I'm gonna try it again today. The shade Cloud is actually pretty good. It's a little bit fair, which is crazy to me. <laughs> But the thing is with Too Faced is this is slightly too fair, but then the one below is way too orange. <laughs> so, what am I gonna do? Because I kind of want to like a glowy complexion, I'm gonna go in with the Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. It's light darkness, I'm just gonna mix it all up. And I'm just gonna apply a light layer. Probably too much foundation on this brush for a light layer. It's fine. I must have wear earrings. I know I'm gonna need to do my neck. <laughs> using the excess on places like my nose and my forehead. I don't really like to add that much product to those areas. I'm just gonna go over with my sponge. Oh wow. <laughs> don't you just love it when you expose your forehead? <laughs> you no, know, actually looking at this now, I think the shade is actually pretty good and it's not too pale. I don't know, I think it must have been lighting on that day. <laughs> it's actually looking really good right now. I do need a little bit more coverage underneath my eyes. I'm gonna add a little bit more concealer. I don't know how I feel about this whole clicky pen thing. <laughs> I don't think I prefer this over the liquid version it's because the liquid version is so quick and easy and I know that it works really well. And it honestly doesn't have the same amount of coverage. I may end up going over it with that one, to be honest. <laughs> it's not as brightening, but I am gonna go in with a little touch of this just for a little bit more coverage. I had to take the stopper out of this because I couldn't get any more product out of it. I'm gonna use it over any blemishes as well that I have, which is quite a lot right now. <laughs> Instantly, that looks so much better. Oh, I forgot my fairy lights. I cannot have that. Alexa, lights on. Yay, you can't see them, but they're on in spirit. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna set my under eyes. I'm going in with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I must say though that concealer has not creased that much underneath my under eyes, which is very impressive considering it's a cream concealer. But well, let's just set it in place, shall we? All right, now I'm gonna set the rest of my face with my Jeffree Star Magic Powder thing. <laughs> I'm just gonna set everything in place. I'm really liking the way the center of my forehead is looking, so I'm not actually gonna out of that which is different for me because I usually set everything <laughs> right now I'm quickly gonna contour I'm gonna use this Smashbox palette it's the holidays contour and spotlight palette I'm gonna go in the shade contour which is this cool tone shade right here and I'm just gonna chisel out my cheeks just a little bit for a little bit of shape you know whoa I think I went a little bit overboard there. Let's just tone that down a little bit. Okay, I haven't used this for a while, so I thought I'd just pull it out. And it's the Jouer Bronzing Duo. It's a light to medium. Just soften this contour with a little bit of bronze. I honestly love the bronze look. Why not just look a little bit more healthy? <laughs> I don't care if I'm too pale, okay? I like to look bronzed. <laughs> oh, I've forgotten how much I like this bronzer. All right, now it's time for blush. Now I'm either thinking of doing this NARS palette. It's the Exposed Cheek Palette. I adore the packaging on this thing. It's so beautiful. Here are the colors. I just don't know. Maybe that peachy one would be nice actually with this look. You'll really go with the eyes. And I really want to pack on the blush today. So let's go for it. That is so pretty. It like almost, almost looks neon. Like it's such a pretty orangey color. A little bit on the schnoz. All right, for highlighter, I've got this by Ofra. It's very battered and used. The reason the packaging looks like this is because the actual pan came out and whenever I pick it up, it rattles around in there. This is my very first Ofra product. It's the Ofra X Nikki Tutorials Everglow Highlighter. This is their old packaging. The packaging now looks like this, only less dirty, but it is matte white, so it gets everything on it. <laughs> so please excuse that, but this is very well loved. As you can tell, <laughs> I'm gonna mix these two shades together to make a kind of champagne-y bright moment. I don't wanna go too crazy with the highlight, but I am using an Ofra highlight, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> All right, let's... Yeah, as I said, I'm using an Ofra highlight. I don't think Tame really goes with this. <laughs> Just going to blend that in with my blush a little bit. <laughs> Soften it ever so slightly. I mean, it's still beaming, but I tried. <laughs> Literally barely even touching my skin. These highlighters are insane. A little bit on the nose, a bit too much on the nose. Just gonna set it down with some Fix Plus. This is the lavender scent. Do love the lavender scent. Mm. 
Smells so good. Before I finish up my eyes, I want to quickly do my brows. I've got a few benefit bits and pieces to try out. Precisely my brow pencil. The packaging is so extra, and because it was so extra, I thought it would be heavier. But these actually feel like really light and flimsy, and they're so expensive. Like, literally, my makeup obsession brow goals feel so much heavier than these. Like combined, I, I don't know. I was just expecting it to feel a bit more luxury than cheap plastic. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna use the precisely my brow pencil. Actually guys, I need to show you something that's so cute. <laughs> Choose samples to come along with your purchase and I chose this and it is like literally, I don't even know. <laughs> it's a sample of the precisely my brow pencil. Look at it, L like look at it. It is so tiny. <laughs> but what I find funny about it is it's just this little nib you get on the end of it. Like it, <laughs> it's not twistable or anything. It's just a tiny little amount of product on the end there and that is all you get. Which I guess it is a, like a free sample, but I just find it funny how they've managed to do a sample of a brow product and I'm probably going to keep this for like traveling. I don't know how long that will last, mind, we'll see when I use the product, but I just wanted to show you because it is so cute. Alright, well let's try this out anyway. Do you like how small and precise the pencil is? But a lot of these pencils have come out now. Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim is really good. Also the Makeup Obsession one. MUA have a really good one. So these kind of pencils anymore aren't hard to come by but the product seems good as well. This is kind of effortless to put through the brow. I will admit it's like really creamy but in a good way. This is pretty good. I kinda get it. The camera died on me. So I just did the other brow off camera. I do have another brow thing to play with. It's the 3D Brow Tones, which I think is like a highlighter for your brows. It's almost like a bronzy, vintage gold kind of color. I thought I'd try it out, see how it looks. I'm gonna put a little bit on, and if I don't like it, I'm just gonna stop. <laughs> Let's try it out. Is it doing anything? I can't quite see anything happening. Oh, actually, maybe a little bit. It's not as like, metallic as I thought it was gonna be. I thought I was literally gonna have like a metallic brow. <laughs> Add in like a little sheen to my brow, which I guess is all right. Emphasizes your brow hairs a little bit more. Oh, actually, I can see it now a bit more in this brow. I don't know if it's gonna come across on camera, but it has added like a shimmer to my brow. Oh dear. I mean, it's not the worst my brows have looked, you know. I am gonna go in with the 24 hour brow setter just to, you know, properly set them in place. This really does that. All right, let's finish up these eyes finally because I'm, I feel like I'm looking a bit crazy with my eyes just like this. <laughs> let's just zoom you guys back in again. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna go in with the excess that's on the brush here and just do the outer third. I was thinking about doing like a halo on the under as well, but I don't know if I wanna go in with this color on my inner corner because it's that kind of color that could make you look ill if you're not careful, you know? <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the matte poet color just by itself and tuck it right into the lash line on the outer corner. You know what? I'm gonna go in the inner corner with this color because it's just makeup. I'm basically replicating what I did on my lid, underneath my lid as well. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with that same metallic story color and put it in the center. To brighten it up a little bit, I'm gonna go in with the metallic aura shade and just blend it into the center a little bit. I'm just gonna add a nude color to the waterline. This is a MAC pencil in NC15. I'm gonna use the white shade from my highlighter as an inner corner highlight. Also gonna tight line as well. I'm using MAC Smolder. I'm gonna quickly line the top of my lash line just for lashes. I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Fly Liner. I'm not adding a wing or anything. I'm just literally putting a little band there. All right, that went a little bit thicker than I'd liked, but I, that's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of mascara. This is the Givenchy Disturbia Mascara. Right, so I don't so much have high-end eyelashes. I'm gonna go pick some out and I'll be right back. All right, listen. I just tried on about 10 different pairs of lashes and I only wanted to put one on. <laughs> and this is Prima Lashes Imogen. I'm hooked on these lashes. They're so pretty. I just love the way that they look on the eye and I can't stop using them. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I think I've used these lashes in like the past five videos. <laughs> it's like ridiculous. They're so pretty and they're so fluffy. I think they are a little bit long for my eyes, but I don't care. <laughs> All right, so let's just do the lips real quick. I'm gonna do a nude. I realized I only had one high-end pencil and that's the Huda Beauty Lip Contour in Venus. So I have no choice to do a nude anyway, guys. Okay, so I'm just gonna line my lips and I'm gonna fill in the outer corners a little bit as well. 
And then I'm gonna use this broken ass lipstick by Smashbox. It's their Be Legendary lipstick in Inside Access and it's a matte finish. It's quite a pale nude. I usually use this to go like over top of things so it's a bit messed up. And also it snapped off in the tube but it's really pretty nude so I wanna use it. Like it's very pale but I love it. I just apply it to the center and then pat out the edges and it creates this really nice plump looking effect to your lips. Do I add a gloss? I think I'm gonna need to add a gloss with this face because I'm very shiny looking, very dewy looking. I think if I don't add a gloss, it's gonna look a little bit out of place. What should I do? Jouer or fussy? This probably matches my eyes a little bit more so I'm gonna go with Fussy by Fenty. I'm just gonna put a little bit on. Still cannot get behind the scent of that lip gloss. Just so artificially scented. I just don't like the scent at all. <laughs> but I think we're done. <laughs> I just want to add a little bit of sheen to the body, you know, to match my face because I'm very, very sheeny right now. So I'm gonna go in with the Iconic Pret Set and Glow Spray. This is in the original shade. It's like a pinky champagne. It's very pretty. Just shake it up. I think my sprayer might have gone a bit on this because it's kind of spraying everywhere right now. I'm gonna pull down my top a little so I don't get it all over it. And let's just glue up the body as well. It's like one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> Fan, just for effect. <laughs> Beyonce, where you at? <laughs> I'm so extra today. All right, and that is it for this makeup. I hope you guys like it. It's a very dewy skin. I love the way my skin looks today. Just, it just looks so good. Like this looks dewy and not oily. That's what I'm always striving for. <laughs> it looks so fresh and pretty. I really love this eye makeup. Like I'm so annoyed with myself that I haven't put those two shades together before. So pretty, I love it. Mm. It's given that kind of soft glam that I wanted. Pretty much all of these products were ones that I know and love. Like the Tati Beauty palette, such a stunning palette. I know she's not so much like a high-end brand, but she has a high-end price tag. So I thought I'd add it into this video. I am planning to do a video like this with drugstore makeup as well like full face of drugstore but I just wanted to play around with my hair and stuff today so I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway all the products that I have used today will be listed in the description box as they always are for you guys I'm gonna go ahead film another video if you're new please subscribe I'm gonna love you and leave you I hope you're having a fabulous day wherever you are in the world and I shall see you on the next one till then bye guys <laughs> got some new things I want to try and then some Jesus Wendy it's too warm to close my window I don't be proud, it's okay, I love I still love, I won't say I miss love But now I just want to get started on my best My, my best? My what? <laughs> Must you? Must you? Why must you always fall on the floor? Whoa, why am I bright orange? What's going on, camera? <laughs> Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Didn't want my window open anyway. I'm gonna be doing a video where products that I've. No, oh, what? What sentences? I cannot string them together right now. God, everything's getting in my way right now. Hair, earrings, life. <laughs>